Hey, IDS 302. I'm doing too many videos today. I got mask beard from being out in stores. Hey, um, I'm putting out this. This should follow the survey video that I'm going to post. Here's a story. Okay. I tried Planet Legend. Seemed to work fine, but the free app, free site only gives you three surveys. And when I tried to build one for you, I already used my three up. I tried to delete the ones I had, still wouldn't let me do it. And also that meant I couldn't show you what I already did. Frustrating. SurveyMonkey has too many limitations on the types of questions you can use. Not a fan. Survey Planet just seemed awkward. You're free to use any of those as long as they work for what you want to do. You don't have to pay for it, okay? Um, I'm just going to remind you really quick, again, no matter what you use, some survey sites and that will intuitively give you suggested answers, like you're going to put how old are you, what's your age, and it's going to come up with this sample of, you know, 18 to 24, 25 to 30, 31 to 36, whatever it is. Do not use that. Do not. You will get dinged if you use an age grouping for your survey. You let people fill in the blank of their age. I'll explain again why. It's because let's say you get 35 people participate in your survey or 30 people, and you have a group that's 18 to 25. So 26 to 34, blah, 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 50 and over, whatever. So for 50 and over, you only have me. And for 18 to 24, you got your classmates. What that could mean is that over 50, you got a 62-year-old. What's over 50? That, that's just so random, ridiculous. I'm 62. I'm not 50. Those punk kid 50-year-olds, I'll take them. No. Uh, so it doesn't work that way. Conversely, on the other end of it, 18 to 25, 18 to 24, but 90% of that group that, that is 22 years old or 21, between 20 and 22. Well, what, what's 18 and 19 good for? What's 24 or 25? They're not good for anything. Just let people fill it in, then you grid it out. You That way you have a much more control on your <clears throat> contrast, correlation, comparison, et cetera, okay? <clears throat> so that's important to, um, to have control of that, okay? Um, I used Google Forms. I'm going to show you on that video how to find it through ASU, how to build questions, and then how to send it, okay? How to link it to an email. Um, let me check. Why didn't I get the email yet? It still shows out. What, why is it still on the out thing? Um, let me try to fix this thing up here. I don't get it. I never have this problem. Let's try it again. Okay, new message. I'm going to do the shortened link, send. I'm going to do a, oh, I see. I'm going to do the link, shorten it, copy it, and then I'm going to paste it into a blank email. Hit enter, which makes it hot. I'm going to send it to myself. Now, Okay, there we go, survey, sample, hit send. Now I get two going out. I don't know what the problem is here. I never had this problem with my email. All right. I did notice it wanted me to re redo my passwords, which is absurd. I just don't get it. Let me try something else. I'm going to go into my... It's so frustrating. I'm sorry. Oh. Yeah, they came through on my. So I got an email, it looks like that, from the Google Forms. And it says, fill out form. I'm going to click on it. There's the survey that I built. Age is a blank. Gender is multiple choice, three choices. And you can see what kind of, what kind of questions I did. Okay. None of these questions are fill in the blank. None of them have an other fill in the blank. You can't do that. This is a quantitative survey. The quest 
Questions must all have answers. Everyone must have the same choice. Excuse me, of answers, okay? Um, again, I'm going to go out of my way and say that if you want to help, if you want me to help you on this, I'm willing to. Like I said, there's only about 20 active students in this class. Therefore, I could see doing that. Can't do it when I got 70. So let me know. I like the survey. Remember, it's probably the most important part of your, your work. I know writing papers is a big pain and it's important, but this is how you can get your data. You want to really, and you want to relate. When you do these questions, think about how they could be answered. Not how you want them to be answered, but how could they be answered? You know, so, you know, when I write here, um, please choose from the following regarding your opinions. Recreational marijuana use. Okay, somebody could be very against, slightly against, leaning against, no opinion. Just think of that. Make sure that they, what you're asking them matches what choices you're giving them, okay? I got to go. It's my buddy, the truant from yesterday. I'll talk to you soon. Call me. Sign me. Email me.